Fireman Sam and the Fire Extinguishers. It was the beginning of summer. Fireman Sam had reared little lamb to some sort of maturity and had taken to practising his statistical diatribes with the lamb as an impartial audience member. Fireman Sam was flicking through the trade catalogue, comparing prices on all the fire preventative items. He beckoned to Station Officer Steele. There's a nice selection of nozzles. Shall we upgrade? Before Station Officer Steele could consider his position on the matter, Tom Thomas, the mountain rescue worker, had intruded. Fireman Sam hadn't seen him since they put up some avalanche warning signs around the village. Good day, sport, he said. I'm after a fire extinguisher for my SUV, and I thought you guys might be able to help me. What a coincidence, stated Sam. It just so happens that I am studying the Fire Brigade's latest catalogue. It has several pages of fire extinguishers. What would you recommend, asked Tom. Well, emphasising that this is a fictional story and not to be misconstrued as some sort of advertisement or guide to health and safety, my personal gas of choice would be compressed carbon dioxide. Fireman Sam opened the lid of his laptop. Check out these babies from our friends at www.fireprotectiononline.com. There's the 2kg XFPC2, list price 114.90, or the 5kg XFPC5, list price uh, £149.90, with big savings to be had. Station Officer Steele called himself daydreaming. All this talk of XFPC2s and 5s takes me back to the lucky dip at my first ever Ponty Pandy Fire Service Christmas fete. We could take out three fire extinguishers, and although I had it on good authority that there were three times as many 2kg extinguishers, I took out one 2kg and two 5kg. It seemed highly improbable to me getting a median of 5kg with those odds. Fireman Sam saw the opportunity to discuss another of the statistical methods he so loved. That's an example of a sampling distribution. First, the probability of obtaining a 2kg extinguisher is 3 quarters, and a 5kg is 1 quarter. Second, we make the assumption that the lucky dip is so vast that these probabilities do not change when an extinguisher is removed. Ah, oh, yes, we called Station Officer Steele. It was a very large bin. OK, so now we jot down all the possible samples. Tom grabbed a marker pen and scribbled as Sam spoke. There's 222, two, two, there's 225, two, two, there's 255, and there's 555. Five. Don't forget 252 two and 522, two, Station Officer Steele proffered. Why, thank you, officer, replied Sam. But they are both congruent to 225, so there are three ways of making that one sample. The probability of 222 is 3 quarters cubed. The probability of 225 is 3 times 3 quarters squared times 1 quarter. The probability of 255 is 3 times 3 quarters times a quarter squared. And the probability of 555 is 1 quarter cubed. Before considering your dilemma concerning the median, let us broach the subject of the mean. 222 has a mean of 2, 225 has a mean of 3, 255 has a mean of 4, and 555 has a mean of 5. So we can write down the sampling distribution for the mean thus. As for the median, and as it turns out for the mode 2 in this example, there are only two possible medians, 222 and 225 both have a median of 2, whereas 255 and 555 have a median of 5, giving rise to this sampling distribution. And both Station Officer Steele and Tom Thomas were awestruck, semi-literally speechless. So what does that tell me about which fire extinguisher I should purchase for the SUV, asked Tom. Nothing, acknowledged Sam. But should you ever find yourself selecting three at random from a large quantity when they're in the ratio three to one, you'll be better equipped to evaluate the likelihood of whatever sample you take. Tom was grateful for this advice and copied down the website address in order to research further and in greater depth at a later time. Station Officer Steele was grateful that his misunderstanding of chance had been rectified and he made a brew which they enjoyed with a round of doughnuts. Unfortunately, the fire station's plumbing was blocked, which resulted in a surreptitious event around the back later. <laughs>